Well, hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Life of Wonders. My name is Polo and I love making videos of toys, toys and Disney collectibles. And as always, if you like this kind of content and you feel like supporting the channel, feel more than welcome to subscribe to it and that way you will not be missing out on any of my future videos. Now today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing in detail the Inspired by Tiana Disney Princess Creative Soul Special Edition Artist Series doll. Now, um, I wasn't quite certain um, about getting this one because I felt uh, that it was a bit redundant, uh, you know, um, as Tiana is already celebrating uh, black culture as such because she's black. Um, so it felt a bit repetitive, but then looking at the gown and then all the elements that are definitely so much more Afrocentric than the um, gown that Tiana wears in the movie, then I really fell in love with it. Um, so this is not supposed to be Tiana. I mean, it's, in, it's another princess inspired by Tiana. It could be a live action as they had I mean, they all have that sort of like uh, realism to it. Um, so anyway, this is the box. Um, I love the pattern and the colors chosen uh, for the decoration of the box. It's a really nice displaying box. I've um, said that so many times, although unfortunately mine comes with a bit of a damage on the plastic once again, same as the one for Cinderella, which is okay by me, but for an inbox collector it could be something more annoying i would say but any anyhow so um here it specifies everything then over here we find um a picture uh a creative soul photography uh picture of the model in which uh this doll was inspired and then on the back we have another picture and i just love it I love it so much and I'm going to be reading out loud a bit of the in background information about Creative Soul so you can, I don't know, in case you're just watching this specific review. So meet husband and wife, um, the founders of Creative Soul Photography. For over a decade, their studio has made it their mission to celebrate youth of color in artistic new ways, not often seen. They make this vision a reality by adding Afrocentric design elements to their visuals so to show uh, the beauty and strength of diversity. This unique doll collection reimagines what a classic princess could look like through a diverse new lens. To father empower girls of color and show they can be a princess too, each model stands confidently with a natural textured hair. Then there's the beautiful African fabrics and jewelry. The choice to add rich colors and textures to the design of the dresses reflects the vibrancy of the culture. The girls also strike a bold pose to show what it's like to be engaged and empowered. Ravel in the royal magic by collecting each doll in this series. So I will be taking her out of the box and I'll come back to you with all sorts of details. Well, and here we have the doll out of the box and she's breathtaking. She's really, really pretty. Um, starting with this cult as such, I very much like that they've um, given us brand new sculpts. And then as they promised, like... The hair has another texture to it that originally I thought it would be similar to that of the Isle Wife Forever Belle inspired doll, but in reality it's so much softer and spongy and there is lots of it. So there is a half up, half um, down sort of like um, style applied to it and you will see as I turned her around. Um, but her face is just so precious. She's got painted uh, baby hairs um, and a really nice kind um, expression just looking slightly to the side. Um, I just love it. Then they've also incorporated, I don't know if the camera can actually um, yeah, focus on that, but there are little lines for the lips and then she's got a bit of um, um, eyeshadow in green uh, going with these thick realistic uh, brows as well so I don't know just so so beautiful 
and um, as I said, the texture is magnificent. And then they've put um, this other piece here uh, with um, shells and then the cord that goes with the culture. And I think that's that's amazing, really. And then when it comes to jewelry, uh, she comes with this um, like uh, geometrical sort of like uh, shaped uh, yeah designs that have some texture to it and they're green it's another different shade of green and then they've got the applied details in black and they actually have a bit of an angle as well so they can be uh, displayed from the front as opposed to just you know uh, to the sides which is something very clever and super cool and then she's got this very unique piece that it's the uh necklace um color sort of like piece um and it's supposed to resemble like a worn um you know um faded uh piece in which they've incorporated the shells and a bit of like what appears to be like probably chains bronze and then the lily pot um flowers super cool and then we will start with well before we move on to the dress that is just massive and going all the way down and i absolutely love how vibrant it is especially when compared to any other um tiana uh princess uh gown uh because it resembles the one from the movie but it's so much more colorful um the one thing I love most is this beautiful purse. Um, there is supposed to be a beaded uh, back with uh, well, the resemblance of a frock. So it might be Prince Naveen. <laughs> and it's really nicely painted all throughout um, and really nicely sculpted as well. And there are a couple of rhinestones for the eyes, I'm just loving this bag so much. So yeah, here um, you have it. And I think that Tiana is going to borrow it for sure. And now let's get into uh, the um, dress. So the dress is just the one single piece all sewn together with Velcro on the back. And uh, so the belt is incorporated as part of the design. And then we have the... Um, the bodies now for the bodies they've uh, printed um this um design that is super beautiful and it's uh like a foil printed uh detail and then for the belt which again is sewn onto the dress we have this beautiful flower um with three different types of materials so three different fabrics and a rhinestone just like you know uh, making it perfect uh, right there and then the skirt has a lot of volume and it goes all the way down to the floor um, now these uh, there are three different layers um, so there's the first layer that goes all the way around and we have this uh, leaf design and for this um, they've actually used these um, I don't know this kind of like semi um, vinyl fabric in which they have applied um, the printed on top as um, the black lines as well as the golden detailing um, so it's like applied on top and it's a really nice design that it's asymmetrical but it goes all the way around um, and this would end here they're all connected and I I, I want you know um, unlinked uh, the individual lips because I think it will lose the consistency uh, of the you know the shape of it but then there's the second layer that um, it's just like slightly shorter on this side so we can appreciate the third layer uh, so much better and this one has this beautiful um, flower uh, with filigree um, design this is very very beautiful very vibrant they incorporate a bit of like lime yellow color and um 
There are so many different shades of green in this design, which is awesome from the earrings to the bodies and then the different layers on the uh, skirt. And this layer goes all the way past the floor. So it acts as a bit as a as a trail to one side. And now we can appreciate the other layer that has this beautiful as well, um, which I mean, it. It relates to nature, I'm pretty sure, but then at the same time, it's giving me Art Deco uh, with the lines and, you know, um, and that is very beautiful. And the shade of it, um, of this green, is very beautiful too. Unfortunately, there is no, uh, you know, another layer underneath. There is just like this um, piece of paper that I will just leave there because I think that without it, it could get wrinkled and I really don't want that to happen. Uh, but just as it is right now, it's beautiful. And I'm going to show you how the hair looks from the back, even though she's just out of the box. So probably, um, yeah, but still like so amazing. I mean, it was parted in the middle and I just ran my fingers like so. And she's got lots of hair. It's super Oh, it's just super amazing. It's super soft and, and spongy and the texture feels very realistic to how it would feel um, in reality. And here you can see how the pattern, sorry, the pattern continues uh, with the leaves, with the first layer and the second layer that also goes all the way down. And then the third one, um, you see, it can get a bit um wrinkle but that's fine um if you are not like um just holding it on a very strange position so anyway this has been the review of the inspired by tiana creative soul doll i'm just so off the moon with this um I love her so much. I will be trying these outfits on other girls. Um, so stay tuned for that. But I will also be making, I don't know if it will be like a ranking or just like an overview of the whole collection together as I uh, finish with the last one being uh, the Inspired by Tiana one. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, well, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, I'll be more than happy to get back to all of you. For now, stay safe and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye bye.